Tara with Simply Made Eats and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really simple Thanksgiving recipe for you guys. It's an appetizer and it's one of those things that you don't even want to think about on Thanksgiving, right? You're like, oh, I need appetizers too. Are you kidding me? Well, this is an easy appetizer idea. You need something for people to snack on when you're getting Thanksgiving dinner ready. And this one's only three ingredients. It has my homemade cranberry sauce in it, or you can use easy canned cranberry sauce. That's fine too. You guys, cranberry brie bites, 25 minutes start to finish. Check these out. These are so yummy. I know you guys will love them. So what we're gonna start out with is we're gonna start out with cranberry sauce. So this is actually my cranberry sauce recipe with orange juice, which is on my blog. Um, what I do is I just make two servings and then I save half of it for this recipe. We're also gonna have um, just one puff pastry like this. This is 13 ounce package. And then we need a nice size of brie. I love brie cheese. It's like one of my favorite cheeses. It's so delicious. So let's get to cooking. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to start unrolling this really carefully. And just like that. Okay, so I'm just going to set this aside for a second. And I'm getting my oven preheated to 425 right now, and I'm going to spray it. This is actually a mini muffin pan, but you can use a regular muffin pan too. Just remember that we're going to we're gonna need our puff pastry for 24 pieces versus if you want to do 12. So we'll deal with that in a minute. So I'm just giving this a nice little spray. I don't want my puff pastry to stick in there. All right, I'm going to set that aside. And now we're going to do our cutting. So we're going to just, we're looking, we need 24 squares. So I'm just going to eye it the best I can. Let's see. And we're just using a pizza cutter to cut down like this. And then we're going to need four this way. One, two, Four. I might, the first one is definitely way smaller, but we're going to make it work. It's going to be fine. Okay. So now we're just going to start pushing these down into our mini muffins like that. Into our mini muffin tray. We're going to fill all of them up. And my first row is really um, smaller than the other one, so you can always kind of like just tug a little bit like this on them to make them just a little bit bigger. And these don't have to be perfect, it's just that little appetizer, they're gonna be delicious no matter what they look like. This is just one of those appetizers that are so easy to just stick in the oven, and I mean, it's gonna take us no time at all to prep. This could be start to finish in 25 minutes. And you can see I'm just kind of sticking them down in there. Okay, so that's what they look like right now. So for the brie, we're just going to use like about a half a pound of brie. Let me do a little bit more. And we're just going to cut some little chunks off of it. Like around this size. And it gets kind of sticky. So do you have any other appetizers planned for Thanksgiving? Let me know in the comments. What do you guys usually have for Thanksgiving? I know our family, we always do bacon cream cheese rolls. Those are actually also on the blog. So we absolutely have to have bacon cream cheese rolls on Thanksgiving and Christmas, it's mandatory, um, or you're like disowned from the family. You better have those ingredients in your fridge because it has to be made. All right, let's finish these up. These are gonna be so good. Okay. 
and it's okay to leave the rind on. I know like I get funny about it sometimes like I don't really want to eat it but it's fine and when it's just a little tiny bit like this and when we're baking it like that nobody's gonna know that it's even on there. I think it's kind of different when you have like a big giant piece of brie and you're just like dipping bread or something into it then it's like you don't really want to eat it but you don't have to but this is going to be perfect okay so there's our cheese okay so it's time to assemble them we are just going to do for each of them we're going to do a spoonful of cranberry sauce just like that and a piece of brie See, we only use like a half a batch of cranberry sauce so if it's just a couple of you at the Thanksgiving dinner table you might not even you might just want to make one batch this is plenty enough for a couple people for Thanksgiving I know I only usually do like a big spoonful or so maybe like a helping like this on my Thanksgiving plate because there's so many things to choose from Okay, so we are gonna bake these for about 15 minutes. These look so amazing, I can't wait to try them. So I let them cool off for about five minutes or so, and I'm just gonna start trying to get each of them out. By this time they were pretty cool. Um, I really like puff pastry for this recipe because I like the flaky layers that it creates, um, especially because my bacon cream cheese rolls are crescents too. So I kind of like to have a different variation of, um, you know, puff pastry and crescent rolls on the holidays. These are so yummy. And then what I'm going to do is I like to do, um, I've got some rosemary sprigs out so you can definitely stick those into them. You also can top with pecans or walnuts, whatever your family likes. If they don't like nuts at all or if anybody's allergic, then just leave them out. Um, and I've also got some honey here that I'm just gonna like drizzle over top of them once I get everything done. It's gonna be so yummy. Okay, so we are finished and it's my favorite time, the taste test. I am so excited about these. They look really hot still, so hopefully I don't burn my mouth. Mm. These are so tasty. Mm. Those are so good and they're so delicious and easy to make, you guys. This was done, I was done in 25 minutes from start to finish. Make sure you try this one on Thanksgiving or Christmas and let me know how it goes. Um, as always, you can find all of my recipes on simplymadeeats.com. And let me know in the comments how much you guys liked it. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.